Let's try to put in everything we have learned so far and write a chemical reaction. I have here an example of a reaction between salicylic acid and acetic anhydride to produce aspirin or acetyl salicylic acid. So let's start with our cyclic compound. So we have here a benzene ring. Let's find a benzene ring from there. Okay. Now we attach to our benzene ring an OH group. Okay, that's good. Then we have our carboxyl group. And to your carbox to make the carboxyl group. We have OH. Have another OH, but we want the other one to be a carbonyl. So from the carbon, drag it to your oxygen. There you have the C double bond O OH. So we have our carbonyl or carboxyl group. Let's select this molecule and Move it a little. If you also want to clean this up, highlight and clean the structure. So we have to have the positive sign. Click on this button for the positive sign. Click it here, wherever you like it to be positioned. Then we have the acetic anhydride. So this would have five carbons to start. So let's have the continuous drawing button. So we could have five carbons. Now we have an ether here. So we press an O. Right click. Okay, there you have it. And add OH groups. We want that to be carbonyl groups also. So from carbon extend to oxygen, you have a double bond. Carbon extend to oxygen, you also have a double bond. Now we put the arrow. Here we have the arrow. You could actually have different arrows. You could have double headed for reversible reactions or going to the right or going to the left. So you have options for different kinds of arrows. So we just select a normal one. Okay, there you have it. And then you want to write phosphoric acid on top. So we click this button the reaction arrow labeling button. Click on the arrow you have in your reaction and this will bring you to this box. So you could now edit and put in your reactions above the arrow or below the arrow. So you just have to input your conditions. So we have phosphoric acid is H3 PO4, that's automatic. You could also put here, for example, you need to heat at a temperature of 25 degrees, for example. Or 125 degrees, let's say. <clears throat> It's just an example, so you could erase that one and press OK. There you see our phosphoric acid on top. Now we continue with the products. <clears throat> your aspirin, so you have your benzene ring at the side. So we have our carbon. We have an OH group, another OH group. 
but we want the other one to be a carbon unit so just extend it like that press on carbon so we need to have one three one two and three and then you have a double bond so we click on this bond we have a double bond and we go to again we have another methyl group let's add our oxygen so click on oxygen click at the position of the carbon you want to replace as oxygen click this carbon again make it oxygen okay so we have that exactly looking like your aspirin now press the plus sign let's have the acetic acid so press on carbon you have two carbon atoms for that second carbon atom we attach our hydroxyl group we have another hydroxyl group to attach and from the carbon drag it to oxygen to make it a carbonyl group let's try to clean up our structure highlight that clean the structure there you go let's make this a little smaller just that a little put it in place and we have our reaction done that's great